Hello, I'm back. And today what we're going to do is output and price in the short run part two. So what we're going to do for this um, part two video is that we're going to apply what we've learned in part one uh, using an expansionary demand shock. So what do we mean by an expansionary demand shock? An expansionary demand shock happens when there is an increase or when there are changes rather in the demand side of the economy. So what, what's the demand side of the economy? That's where you have the high rate expenditures. That's where you have consumption. That's where you have government spending. That's where you have investment, uh, taxes. That, that's in there, all right? So for an expansionary demand shock, shock to occur, it should come from this. It's a result of um, an increase in government spending an increase in investment. It's also possible that it's a result of um, an increase in or, or optimism among businessmen. So it can be uh, because of business confidence. Okay, so optimism and um, or an increase in consumption. When this happens, our aggregate demand curve will shift to the right. Okay, so aggregate demand curve will shift to the right. So in our graph, it's shown here. So AD will shift to the right. So let's call this guy AD2. And when this happens, our short run equilibrium output is to the right of Y star. It's going to be here. So let's call this guy uh, y2 and the associated price level for this new short run equilibrium is at p2 now when that happens okay our ad curve shifts to the right uh, and prices increase when there is an increase in price what happens too is that you have this inflationary gap And we know from the first part of this video, or in part one of this, that if there is an inflationary gap, the economy is operating beyond its capacity. So there's scarcity of inputs. When there's scarcity of inputs, cost of production increases. When cost of production increases, there will be a contraction in your economy. That means that the aggregate supply curve will shift to the left. Okay, so it's shown here. So AS curve will shift from AS1 to AS2. And prices go up from P2 to P3. Okay, so the end result here is the following, that output goes back to Y star and an increase in prices. Okay, now just to summarize, all right, so what happened here is the following. Aggregate demand curve shift to the right as a result of these factors. So AD shifts to the right. I call this number one. That is number one here. And prices go up, inflationary gap happens, cost of production goes up, RAS curve shifts to the left. I will call this number two and number two. And the end result is the following. Our inflationary gap closes okay, until, until it goes back to Y star and the overall price level in the economy goes up. So there you have it. That's what happens when there's a demand shock in the economy. I'll see you in the next video.